Well, hello again, everybody, for I don't know how many times today, but I'm back again. And yay, what a wonderful way to end off my day with a beautiful prize from Esoteric Atlanta. How are you, honey bun? I'm, I'm good. Well, I'm feeling Mercury retrograde today as we were laughing beforehand. So <laughs> definitely I'm tired today. It is me. I'm starting my day with you. Um, so this is a, a beautiful way to start the day. So um, I hope our audience is, is hanging in there because we are we are at a very interesting time time in our timeline right now. It's just very interesting. So <laughs> just hold on it is an ex it's extremely interesting lots of sh but i must say i kind of feel like we've over a big hump yeah. i'm not saying we're over at all or over the worst necessarily but i feel like we've really just come through some particularly trying times actually yes uh yes think, uh, hmm. yeah and, and we had we had the blood moon a uh, full moon uh what was it sunday night um yeah. So, and that was a big one. That was a really, really big one. It was in Scorpio, which of course you think of I'm, my moon sign is in Scorpio. That's why I'm so, I'm an Aquarian as my actual overall sign, which we kind of detach, but then the Scorpio moon makes me very emotional. So I feel sorry for all, all the men I've dated. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so, um, but uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, and I also, and I've, I've spoken about this before, you know, for women, we get our cycles either around new moon, new moon or full moon. And I'm a full mooner. So I got my cycle during this whole, that was the universe going, we're just going to make this a little extra hard for you to get your, to get your shit together. So, um, so that's okay. It's fine. That's fine. Um, so, but I'm excited today, guys. I'm excited about, this is my favorite topics yeah. in the whole world is called therapy. It's my favorite, one of my favorite topics. And this is something I'm really, 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 really excited to hear about because I've got to be honest, it's not something I've delved into much more because I don't want to. I know there's lots and lots of amazing healing benefits. I put uh, very cold water at least uh, or ice water on my face every morning. Yeah. Um, and I've been doing so for a long time. There are times where I will occasionally um, uh, uh, turn the shower on cold after I've had a hot shower. <laughs> but it's so cold, Bryce. I wow. know. And I'm going to tell you guys, I am like the biggest fan. And when I tell you that winter isn't r really a thing down here, we don't really do winter. I'm serious. I actually bought a pair of gloves this past winter because we had a freak day where it snowed and i i don't know anybody who has gloves down here in the south like we're not winter people you know like this is this where i live in america it's called the bible belt but it's also called the sun belt you know like we that's why people in the south talk slow it's too damn hot to not to talk fast you know so so i am someone that is not I'm, I'm just not conditioned for cold weather. You know, there's a really funny uh, comedian who is from Atlanta. And I shared one of her standups where she was talking about having to move to New York City um, because of her job. And she was saying that one day there was what they call a bomb cyclone, which is like a really big, oh, no, she froze. Hopefully I'm still here. Um, oh yeah, there you are. Okay, good. I was like, oh my God, Shanti froze. Am I off or is she off? <laughs> Thanks, Mercury. Um, but this comedian was talking about how, you know, she moved to New York City and there was this huge snowstorm that came through. Now here down here in the South, if they even think there's a possibility that we might get a little bit of a flurry, they, they close down everything. Everything shuts down and the Piggly Wiggly, the local grocery store sells out of bread, bread and water. That Everybody really always gets me. I remember in Piggly one Wiggly. of those movies the south what i think it's called something wasn't mystic pizza no was that one with uh julia roberts uh when they where she gets married and then she what was the old or well, whatever then i can't remember dolly parton was in it oh steel magnolias steel magnolias and yeah, talk about that's how i grew up i mean my mom had a group of lady friends that still her group of lady friends and we called them all by their first name in the South. You, you always say Mrs. or Mr. Or whatever, but my mom's little group of lady friends, we always called them, they had their own big hairspray Aquanet, you know? <laughs> yeah. Still Magnolias. That if you want to know what life is like in the South, watch still Magnolias. That's how I grew up. So the big, big. I still want to know what happens with the Piggly Wiggly though. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 
local grocery store chain, we always joke. We're like, well, well, the Piggly Wiggly sold out of the red water. That must mean that the apocalypse is coming. So like, if they think that, that it might just flurry, like literally you better get your ass <laughs> to the Piggly Wiggly to get you a loaf of bread because literally you would be the second coming of jesus well this comedian was talking about moving up to new york and there was this like snowstorm and her work said she ha still had to come into work and she was like excuse me but jesus don't want me to go to work today and when she said that i sure. laughed so hard but jesus don't want me to go to work today because that's that's how we that's how we that's how we view winter down here in the south jesus don't want us to go to work if there's if there's a little bit of snow on the jesus don't want us to go to work we got to stay at well, home so that's exactly you know, why not it makes perfect sense right? so yeah so cold therapy and i am kind of like you shanti maybe it's in a maybe it's an aquarian thing i'm a little bit of a daredevil like i'm definitely the kid my mom will probably tell you that i probably gave my parents more heart attacks than my sister growing up because if you tell me to try something i will probably try it even if I'm scared shitless, I will probably try it. And cold therapy, I mean, that's why I picked up and went to India by myself, which looking back was probably pretty stupid, but I did it. I went by myself, you know, I didn't know anybody. I, I ended up making really good friends, but I, you know, it, it's just kind of how I've been my whole life. And so, um, and so uh, cold therapy, what started with me was around uh, my early thirties to mid thirties, I was really, really struggling with arthritis, which I've spoken about, which I haven't struggled with um, in a long time. But it was proposed to me by someone I knew to start going to cryotherapy. Now, there's many different ways to do cold therapy, which we're going to get into. Cryotherapy is the best for me because, um, like, we're going to talk about ice baths as well, but cryotherapy is what I mostly do. I do take cold showers in the morning. So, first of all, people are probably like, well, what is cryotherapy, which is literally cold therapy. Um, and this is defined as a technique where the whole body is exposed to extremely cold temperatures for several minutes. And so if we think about that from a very, like, we've all had ice packs before. Like I actually ran and got, a, this is my ice pack eyes. And I probably should have done this this morning because I was I running. Some like that as well that have been lying in my bedside cabinet for, I don't know how long. Do they work? Is it any yes. good? So like, I have my eyes a little puffy this morning. It's the mercury retrograde, I'm assuming, and I'm on my cycle. So, you know, that does funny things. But um, yeah. yeah, so normally if I, I didn't have time this morning, I keep this in the freezer and I would just get it out and I would lay on my bed for a few minutes with this on my eyes. It's really cold and it takes the puffiness down. So this is just kind of a vanity thing. This is all this really is. And there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of, of vanity sides to cryotherapy, which I was laughing before we hit record that that's usually what entices people to try cryotherapy is the vanity, um, what it does for you physically, but there's also so many other health benefits to cold therapy. Now cryotherapy. So as I was saying, so ice packs, like we all know what an ice pack is. Like if you like one time I got smacked, uh, I was playing softball with some friends. I think I was like in the fourth grade. So like eight or nine. And I got smacked in the eye with the ball and I had a big black eye. And so my parents put, you know, frozen peas on my eye when I came in. You know, we all have that parent that grabs that thing out of the freezer and sticks it on you. And if you think about like inflammation, when you have a, a place in your body that's inflamed, it's like the, that one area of the body has a little bit of a fever, right? There's a, there's a heat that's rising from that area. And so bringing the cold to it is going to start to move that fever. It's going to start to calm that inflammation down. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later with how it works with blood, with cryotherapy. So when I go to cryotherapy and I'll show you guys what I'm going to share screen quickly and show you guys, um, yeah. what, I, what I'm talking about when I grow, let me see if I can find my, um, cryotherapy. Here we go. All right. Let me share a screen. And so when I do cryotherapy, I used to go before we had the lockdown, I used to go to a place uh, called Icebox, which is here in Atlanta. It's actually a block away from me. Um, and this, there's, there's, this is the one, this guy coming out of the refrigerator right here. This is the machine that I would use. Now it used to be that your head wasn't in it. Uh, but I prefer the whole machine because it then takes the inflammation out of your face as well. And so with cryotherapy, you're in this like refrigerator and it's uh, negative 200 degrees to negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 129 Celsius to 184 Celsius 
for you guys to go by Celsius and you're in for two to four minutes. Now the, I, the place that I go, which is Icebox, which is like this, they only allow you in there for three minutes max before they pull you out. And so basically, and what I like is, so basically if you're going to do this, you will go in your first time. You have to take your clothes off. You can't have any like spandex on. If you've been sweaty, I would suggest getting the sweat off of you first because that's going to be really intense in the in the refrigerator. And they have you put on these like cotton boxers, uh, socks over your knees and some slippers on. For a woman, you can wear your bra if you want to. I don't wear my bra because I'm a daredevil like that. Um, and I, I have, uh, there's two types of breasts. There is breasts that are, more uh, fatty tissue and breasts that are, are more muscly. I have the more muscly breast. Um, and so I always feel like I kind of want to hold my arms up and make sure that that area is getting the benefits of the cryo or cold therapy as well. So you go into this refrigerator, there's always somebody in the room with you because here's the, the thing. It's almost like controlled hypothermia, right? If we go over a certain amount of time, it's going to be bad news bears. And so they're pulling you out. I actually think the machine shuts off at like three minutes. You go in, they shut the door. They, they're in with you the whole time talking to you. Like I, like I said, I don't wear my bra. So they give you a robe. When I get into the machine, I throw my robe over the door and they take the robe. Um, and they talk to you the whole time through an intercom while you're in there. They play music, all that kind of stuff. It is extremely cold. And so for those of us who have breathing practices or yoga practices, this is another form of calming your breath down and allowing your breath to be calm while you're in this refrigerator, basically. Now, the thing about this, you see there's a door. So I've heard so many stories of people panicking and pushing the door open, boobs out, you know, like at that point, you don't care, just boobs out, pushing the door open, running out. Now the Usually you're in a back room, so uh, no one else can see you. And for me, normally you'll get a female going in there with you if you're a female. And then once you, there is a clock inside of the refrigerator with you, so you can see the countdown of when you're about to get out. And by the time you're down to like 10 seconds, they'll start opening the door and throwing you your robe to get you out. Okay. So that's what cryotherapy kind of looks like. Now, the benefits of cryotherapy and all cold therapy is it reduces migraines. So if you're someone who struggles with migraines, um, it, it numbs nerve irritation. It helps treat mood disorders like depression, anxiety, which when Hoff, who is a big breathing guy, he is a huge promoter of cold therapy as well. You see him in the ice. He does it a lot in his bathing suit. He's breathing through it. And so if you're a Wim Hof fan, our friend Catherine is a Wim Hof fan. You can see so many um, talks on YouTube of him speaking about the benefits of cold therapy and how it also helps treat depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. Um, it reduces arthritic pain. It reduces uh, low risk tumors. So cancer, um, it can prevent dementia or Alzheimer's. It can treat skin conditions. Um, again, it helps with inflammation and it also is a huge proponent in weight loss. Now, I don't want people to do this specifically for weight loss, but I know that three minutes in this cryotherapy in this machine burns 800 calories, 800 calories. I probably that only is, is that because? Because your body's obviously trying to keep warm. So in the, yes. in, the, in the process of trying to keep warm, it's burning up a lot of heat, obviously. Burning up a lot of heat. And we're going to talk in a minute about brown fat and white fat too, because there is an element of that as well. But so basically what's happening, so people who have ever done cupping, I'm a huge fan of cupping. It's kind of like when you do cupping, they pull up. So when you have an area of your body that is injured or stressed out there's something going on sometimes the blood the blood is our sacred dna or the blood is what heals us the running of the blood through the body and that's why circulation of blood is very important that's another reason why exercise is important because it helps circulate that blood through the heart so the heart can clean the blood so when you are in a cold a cryotherapy or an ice bath which we're going to talk about as well your body's main um main target is to get the blood to rush into your internal organs to get your internal organs protected because all of a sudden it's signif it's, it's, oh my gosh, we're in really cold. We're in a really cold environment. And so it pulls the blood out of areas that might be a little bit stressed or inflamed. And that's why it's helping it because it's helping that blood flush. And that also is why 
your body starts to burn all these calories because it's it's highly activated in this cold type of environment. Um, they the people at Icebox. I used to do this like maybe four times a week, and the ice box that I would go through is literally a block. I could walk over there from where I live. I would do it in the afternoon, um, and they would always laugh at me because they would say like I, they could hear me in there like rocking back and forth, like rocking back and forth on my feet, just trying to like keep moving. <laughs> like I was like just trying to like breathe through it and stuff because you will definitely have some come to Jesus moments while you're in this. Um, but yes, <laughs> it is I so, think a lot. Yes, but now, you can put things on your. They give you ear muffs too if you want to protect your ears. I don't wear the ear muff, muff uh, muffs because I am vain, and so I want to get the cryo on my face as well. Okay, so we can also talk. I want to show you the ice baths too. So this to me, I've never. I take cold showers, but I've never done an ice bath. A lot. I was of, about to ask you about that thing. I mean. Compared to that cryotherapy, let's say you can't go for the cryotherapy or you, it's not available to you, whatever. If you had to take an ice bath, would it be the same? Would same. it be the exactly. same? Type of you can actually order. I'm actually thinking about myself ordering um, an ice bath, bath tub like they have here. You can see it here um, because are one of these inflatable ones, because, um, I have not been able to go back to cryotherapy since the lockdown because so I, I'm relying on my own, uh, education now to, that's why I take cold showers in the morning and the cold, cold showers that I'm taking in the morning are nowhere near as cold as it needs to be for a uh, cry or wife when you're doing an ice bath. So I was reading a little bit about ice bathing because this is something now now, in the cryotherapy, when you're going to the actual location and getting into the refrigerator, again, you're only there for three minutes max. With ice bathing, though, you're in for 15 minutes. Okay, so this is a lot longer of a thing to, to deal with. And a lot of athletes do ice bathing. Now, we know up in Russia and some of these really up northern uh, countries, they do, um, they do jump into uh, frozen rivers. And I, I have some friends in the yoga world who do this, who will go and jump in the, 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 cro the frozen uh, water there just outside in their backyard. And so is there, uh, anything, I, is there anything special about buying a bath, like a no, bathtub? Or is I, there or is a normal bath at home with ice cubes in it the same as these little bathtub things? I'm wondering if I think it's fine to do use your own bath. My worry, the reason why I think I would order a separate one is because you're dumping, you're going to have to like prep for an ice bath. You're going to have to go buy a lot, huge bags of ice from the gas station or the grocery store. Um, and so my concern would be that um, it would take a while for the ice to melt down the drain. And so I think that's why I would do a separate, um, a separate tub specifically for ice bathing. And I, because I am a baby for ice, I probably in the summertime here would do it outside in my bathing suit. I just put a bathing suit on and do it outside um, just because it's probably going to be a little bit messy as well. Because what I've read with ice bathing is what you want to do is fill the tub up to your thighs with cold water and then dump the ice in once you're already in the tub because it's going to help your system adapt quicker to the cold. Um, but you are oh. that guy's face. And you are literally in this for 15 minutes, guys. Cryotherapy is only three minutes, but this is literally, but a lot of athletes do this. A lot of athletes um, are very okay, familiar with talk ice about the actual benefits about doing this. What are the benefits of so, Messing yourself in such a freezing cold water. I, I look at these guys. I want to shiver and shake just looking at them. I know. Oh well, my I, I will say from experience. I mean, I've just so again, it's reducing migraines, nerving, uh, numbs nerve irritation, treats mood disorders, depression, reduces arthritic pain, um, uh, works on low risk tumors. Uh, prevents dementia, Alzheimer's, can treat skin conditions, inflammation, and of course, a big one is weight loss, helps with weight loss, which we're going to get to again with in a second with the, the brown fat versus the white fat. But for me, there is a huge spiritual component to this. I can't really explain it, but there is a huge, huge spiritual awakening that starts to happen the more that you do cold therapy. And I know there's a guru, so I can't remember which guru said this, that he said, people keep asking me how to, how to find enlightenment. And I keep telling them, take a five minute cold shower every morning, but no one does it. And I agree with him 
there is something very spiritual. Um, when you come out of it, you're so, you feel so refreshed, but it's not just your physical body because I will shiver for a while after I'm out of it. It's not just your physical body. It's like your mind is refreshed as well. And, um, and so, and that I can't really, I can't really put my finger on what spiritually is happening. Uh, maybe it's because your nerves are so activated. Like, look at her face. That would be me. <laughs> so, oh, that? That is... <laughs> so I'm, I'm Definitely. looking at, at ordering a tub because I haven't been able to go to cryotherapy. And this was something that was so, it was it, for years was such a, a vital part of my day was doing this cold therapy. Now, um, how did this, where did this come from? So the history of therapeutic hypo, hypothermia, which is what this is called medically is therapeutic hypothermia i'll get to the other slides in a minute so this from what they tell us this started over five thousand years ago um written records dating back from egypt okay okay imhotep who is a very interesting person from Egyptian history, Hemotep. He was a, a, a genius in polymath, a chancellor and a doctor for the Pharaoh Dosher. He also had a lot to do with the pyramids. And there um, is a huge uh, mysticism and folklore around Imhotep that he was like this, maybe he wasn't fully human. And I kind of uh, subscribe to that with a lot of the Egyptians because we know that the Egyptians were uh, carrying over the beliefs from Atlantis. And I believe that a lot of them were uh, half human, half. Uh, I believe human. Horus was an Atlantean. Horus was an Atlantean. Yeah. I sure. Paris. Yeah. All these, they knew things. And I think that uh, they brought information to us. Well, I was laughing with, with um, Shanti and he was a high priest for Ra as well in, in Egypt. And so I was laughing because in the history notes I was reading through they figured out that cold therapy worked because when the slaves would get injured in Egypt, the cold therapy would treat them so well that they could get back and like slave again the next day. And so I was like, you know, if they're using it for their slaves, obviously there's something here because they want to get them back out, back working. Um, but I don't know how true that is because I think the cold therapy, again, it, it's, it's used when we get into like the 18th century, which we'll see it was used by the elites. Now, Greek philosophers also have a lot of writing on, on, on uh, using hypothermia, hypothermia for uh, therapeutic uh, reasons. Uh, in the 17th century, a doctor named uh, John Floyer started working with cold therapy with, with his patients who had real intense fevers to break the fever. And then again, in the 18th century, European aristocracy used it for aches, pains, and for their overall well-being. So the aristocracy used it and knew this little secret with cold therapy. All right. The 20th uh, century, they all, they started using it in a negative way. They started using it in a sane asylums to uh, basically they would put uh, people with mental problems in a cold bath and like lock them into it for too long. Like they, they went too far with it. Cause we know if it goes too far, we are getting into hypothermia. And that's why I'm telling you, if you go to a professional, like the ice box chain or any type of cryotherapy chain, tra uh, chain where they've been trained to uh, work with you, they're going to stay with you the whole time. They will not leave you and they will pull you out at a particular time. They cannot, you know, if it hits that three minute mark, the doors, the, the machine shutting down, the doors opening, they're getting you out of there because they know you can't be in there past a certain amount of time. Now, again, in modern times, we know that there was a Japanese doctor who also started using cryotherapy for his patients with rheumatoid arthritis. It started helping them massively with their inflammation. And again, as I said, Wen Hoff, who is a big breathing guy, he's a huge promoter of this, of this as well. Now, what tends to happen as well, I'm going to go over here and share screen again. So this is what we're talking about with weight loss. Okay. So... Within the human body, we have both white fat and brown fat. White fat is the bad fat. White fat is the fat that causes a lot of health issues. Brown fat is the fat that we need. And you find high levels of brown fat in like the Eskimos, people who live in very, very, very cold environments, their body has started to create this brown fat. Well, the white fat is what creates things like cellulite. Brown fat 
burns things like cellulite. It also Mm -hmm. burns excess fat and gives you extra energy. And so a lot of people use cryotherapy for vanity purposes. You can go to, uh, you can do the full refrigerator like I do, or a lot of these places will have like a back room. Well, they'll, they'll do localized. So they'll take like this hose and they'll rub it lo- on, on one particular area of the body. You can get like a tummy tuck just from using cryotherapy because it's turning, the cold is turning the white fat into brown fat. And so you can see, you can see differences. Like here's a one, I mean, that's typical. I went with a friend once. I went with every session she went to and you could see her skin changing from cellulite to no cellulite. I mean, look at this back. It's the body reacting in a proper way to the cold therapy to again, turn the white fat into brown fat. You see it here with the stomach. So I'm saying the tummy tuck starts to happen. All right. I mean, it's pretty incredible what the, and this is no surgery. They're not doing any type of surgery whatsoever. It's just literally putting cold, really cold air or ice on particular parts of your body to trigger your body into creating brown fat, which again is what we need. It's what we need in order to move through the white fat, which is the fat that's bad, that causes all sorts of health problems, that is cellulite, that you know, that we don't like to see anyway. It just, you know, a lot of women get self-conscious about cellulite. Um, you can have uh, cryofacials. I know many people here in Atlanta to do a lot of cryofacials to bring, I mean, you can see in this guy, I mean, that's why I have my ice pack right here is to reduce inflammation and swelling in your face. And yes, uh, with ice, uh, that's a secret that I've known for a while that if you have it, let's just say that you go out at, at one night, and you have a rip roaring good time and you've been drinking a lot and the next day you you wake up looking three sheets to the wind like you've been road hard and put away wet your face is swollen you're just hung over you you fill up an eye a bowl full of ice water and you pull your hair back and put your face in the ice water lift it up put it back in for about five minutes and it will take that inflammation down and we know inflammation isn't cute it's not pretty but inflammation can also affect the way you feel it doesn't, it's not a comfortable feeling. And so once you start to feel better, once the body starts to move, your quality of life improves. And so this is, 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 so in my opinion, because this is non-invasive, because this isn't going under the knife, this is something that can really help benefit you while you're also doing your yoga, while you're also doing other things as well to help keep the body moving and circulating this blood. Um, It also will help you sleep better. I have never had the first time I ever did cryotherapy that night. I slept so hard. Um, and I, it's, it's every time I go and do cryotherapy, I have a, an incredible night of sleep. It's like the body just gets in this rhythm. Um, oh, here's a, a picture of what it looks like. So that's kind of like when they do like the localized, they use this little, t- this little hose and they go on a specific area of the body. And they work it and they get the body to react to it. Um, I have this here. So for like, I looked at this for ice, for ice bathing. So these are six tips. Cause again, for people who are still locked down or like me who haven't, so therefore can't go and do cryotherapy, you know, here's six, here's some tips for ice bathing. So fill the t- so you can fill your tub to your thighs, then dump about a pound of ice. This makes it easier to deal with the ice added versus jumping into an ice filled tub. Use a little bit of ice and slowly add more. Increase the ice level to your to- as your tolerance builds. This will help you ease into taking baths regularly if you plan on using cold therapy as a form of treatment. Try to stay in the ice bath for as long as you can, but do not exceed 15 minutes. It is recommended to work up to the recommended 15 minutes without pushing your body beyond its limits. Wear warm clothes on the top part of your body to keep the exposed areas of yourself warm. So I've seen um, some of my friends up in Canada have posted pictures of them ice bathing and they'll, they'll have like uh, toboggan, like the hats on and um, earmuffs on, you know, while they're in an ice bath. I don't own a pair of earmuffs, so I would have to go buy that. But um, you can drink hot liquids like tea or decaffeinated coffee to help you t- from dropping too low. Avoid taking a shower right after an ice bath. It's better to let the body warm up on its own instead of shocking it with hot water. So that's super important. I do that with crap. I take 
in my daily life, and I've done this since I was in my 20s, I take a hot salt bath every single night before bed. I enjoy it. It relaxes me. I can read in the bath, and it's just something that really prepares me for bed. And whenever I do cryotherapy, I always wait at least four hours before I take my hot bath to let my body do what it needs to do without being bombarded by warmth after it just got bombarded with cold. Um, if, if after several minutes, you cannot seem to get warm, you don't take a shower to raise your internal temperature. All right. So these are just some tips. So you guys can find things online to help you get into the habit of cold therapy. Again, for me, the, the actual cryotherapy places, the actual businesses that, um, that do this, which you can find them, I think all over the world. Um, Icebox again is the company I use down here in Atlanta. I don't know if that's outside the United States, but you can just type in cryotherapy in your area. If you are new to this, I would 100% suggest going to a, a business if they allow you in without this and, um, have them walk you through it. Because as I said, because we are going into such extreme temperatures, again, I'll read the temperatures for the cryotherapy is negative 200 to negative 300 Fahrenheit, which is negative 129 Celsius to negative 184 Celsius. That's in the refrigerator. So it's really cold. It's really effing cold. Um, and you will have, like I said, you will have somebody with you talking you through it. Now, the first time you do it, they might only say, since it's your first time, we're only going to put you in there for a minute and a half to two minutes, right? They might say, we should only try a little bit now. And then next time, let's build up to you doing the full three minutes. And uh, it's funny where I go, they play, <laughs> when you get into the ice chamber, they play Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. They play that song while you're in there. And the time you're in, yeah. it's like, the whole and so I was always a fan of Queen and so I was always mad that Vanilla Ice had like ripped or not Vanilla Ice whoever created that Ice Ice Baby song like ripped that song off but now I know every single word to that song because I'd be in the in the ice chamber like singing along with, with the music just to distract me from how cold it was but um but they talk you through it you know you are never alone at a cryo they have somebody in the room with you the whole time to make sure that you are okay that you're not freaking out there's a window that can be rolled down some people prefer to have the window rolled down so they can actually see the person outside i, I roll that sucker up like give me all the cold just give it to me now you know um and they're talking to you through the community through the uh the intercom and you can push the door open if you need to get out you can always push the door open and so it but it is helpful to have somebody who's a professional with you at least the first time Time so that you understand what sensations you should be feeling. Um, they can talk you through uh, what to what to, what you're going to feel at the side effects, like you're you know sleeping well. I, honestly, after I do it though, I'm always hit with energy. Like for first, I'm hit with so much energy after the first couple of hours. From um, from it's funny uh, where I, I, I can imagine. No, I can imagine that is a, an amazing feeling. Yeah. I mean, I just know sometimes when I've had very cold swims, I mean, this, so anyone who's been to Cape Town and who's tried to swim in the sea in Cape Town knows exactly how cold it is. Uh, you can't, a friend of mine now, what they, what they do, they go swimming in the morning, 5 a.m., I think it's like 12 degrees or something, the sea. And they do it without wetsuits, skin, and he says that cold water becomes addictive. Yeah, it does become addictive. It really does. 100%. I mean, cryotherapy became addictive to me. I was going like four times a week. Um, it helps with like soreness. Like I get very, I always laugh and tell my students that I've been sore for 15 years because with Ashtanga yoga, when you get to that place where you're not sore anymore, that's when you get new postures. <laughs> and so it just starts all over again. So it helps with that's soreness. You know, yeah. it helps if you're somebody who... Um, you know, and for before when I was teaching my sore every single day, I was physically manhandling people as well as my own practice. And so my body was being used a lot. And so that would help me with my body, like help get, you know, help my body kind of recalibrate. Um, and so if that's something, if you're somebody that if you work in construction or if you have a, a high intense uh, labor job, this is something and, and with the cryotherapy as well versus the ice bathing, it's three minutes. You walk in, you jump in the refrigerator, you jump out, you go. It's literally an errand that takes zero time. You know, it's a three minutes, it's a three minute ordeal. 
you know, and so it's, it's so easy to do. I mean, it can get kind of costly depending on which company you go with. That's where the ice bathing is, you know, you just go buy some ice and you're good. But, um, but it, it is very invigorating. And it's, I had a friend in one time and she wanted to try it. And so we wear our ice box, the cryotherapy places I go to right around the corner. There's also a, a pub at the end of the street called the nook and they're known for their deep fried Twinkies, the Twinkies that we have in America, they deep fry them. And my friend was like, my friend was like, after we go do cryotherapy, we got to go get some deep fried Twinkies because we burned 800 calories. So now we can go eat these like deep. I was like, I don't know if that's how that works, but that's cool. I'll go to deep fried Twinkie with you. I don't know if that's how that works, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you do start to notice things changing with your body. The more that you do the cryotherapy, you do start to notice things like your cellulite starting to smooth out. It's like the elixir of youth because you're getting your body to start to move again and start to move that blood again. Um, and it's, and, and it, even if you don't, if you're not ready to do the full, you can find like little face things. They, I, I just saw one the other day online that was for your whole face where you put it in the freezer and then you just stick it on and it, it works with the inflammation under the eyes or in the face or for wrinkles. You know, I'm at that age where I'm starting to get little wrinkles here and right here. And so the ice kind of helps with that. It kind of helps smooth, smooth that out a little bit. And, um, so and how long do you keep that on for the goggles? How long I keep do you it on goggles? until it's not cold anymore. So it usually takes about five minutes and then it's not do cold. You around with it or do something or do you actually lie down? I usually lie down and do it. I mean, you can walk around with it if you need to, if you're fixing your kid's breakfast or doing laundry or whatever, I usually just lay down on the bed and, and, focus and breathe because it is very cold when you strap this because this is a strap so when you strap this to your head i mean it is like on you you know that is, it's like we're putting on halloween costumes like it is like on your face and so it's really cold when it's fresh out of the freezer like it's super cold and so i'll lie down and just focus and breathe through it and just focus on you know i try to actually bring my attention and i would do this in the, in the cryotherapy as well i try to bring my attention to where i was actually feeling the coldness and really lean into it and really feel what was happening to my body, to, to the skin, to the reaction my body was ha having and recognizing that that's the sign of a healthy body when there is a reaction to that cold, to that cold, uh, ice and that cold temperature. And so, you know, you have, sorry, I just, um, I noticed on some of the pictures that there were certain, targeted areas that specific people were using this on like on the belly or the bum or whatever it might be for let's say whatever problem areas they felt they had so um if let's say you you can't do the cryotherapy cryo cryotherapy right not cryon cryotherapy cryo, cryo yeah uh, and you choose to to do it in the bath instead same result. Um, so how do you target areas then like they would be targeting like that lady there with her belly? You can see it's red target. around her belly. So, so I've just, never, I, I've, I've never actually, I've only ever done the refrigerator, the full body. My friend has done the targeted areas, but I found doing the whole body. So if you can't afford to go to cryotherapy or do the targets, or if you can't go in general because of this, which is the predicament that I'm in right now, um, ice bathing will have the same results, right? You, it's not going to be yeah. one and done. You're going to have to do it a few times to get the body to really, really kick into gear, but it's going to create the same results because it's going to, it's going to be creating uh, it's going to be turning your white fat into brown fat. And so if you're looking vanity purposes, yes, we all have targeted areas, especially women, you know, we want our bellies, we want our stomachs, you know, we want to work on our little, uh, women often get as they get older, that little wobbly bit under their chin. We want to work on that. Cryotherapy works on that as well. We can, you know, you can go and get it a personalized. You can do a boob lift where they actually go and like lift your boobs, you know, um, planks help with that as well too but um but if you just get in an ice bath a couple of times a week you're gonna start to see the same results because it's literally turning what's happening is it's literally turning your white fat into brown fat this is what happens how often a week how many times a week do you recommend then that people take these ice box uh, ice, ice baths depends on each i would say it depends on each individual person um 
Now for me, I back before the lockdown, I was going about four times a week. All right. I would avoid it on like my period. I wouldn't go on my period because I just didn't want to mess with that. Uh, just me being superstitious with, you know, but that's up to the, the individual person. But um, I would go and but my whole intention, I since I am thinner, I don't struggle with uh, some of these issues that some of these other people do because I am a thinner person. I'm very Vata. Um, and so I never felt the need to do like the localized stuff. So I would just go, I was going for the intention of making my body feel better of fleshing out inflammation, but benefits happen on top of that. As far as like the physicality, I mean, look at this guy. So here's a good one. First, second, third, you can see how, how many, it took him five sessions to get there from there to there with the turning of the, and you can see the red marks. That's where he obviously had the, um, hose focused on is where he's red. Right. So you can kind of see that. Um, and it literally, yeah. so literally it's turning the brown. So if you are a lady out there or a man out there and you want to do this for vanity purposes, if you're like interested in actually shifting the brown fat in your body into white fat, if you take an ice bath for 15 minutes, a few times a week, you'll probably see the results because you are still inducing that transfer of brown fat or white fat to brown fat. Does that make sense? You know, these people are just doing it yeah. localized for a, a faster results. I know when they do it local, you have the thing on you for like seven minutes to 10 minutes because it's not your whole body. It's just like, so if I say you're a lady and you have those bingo arms, you know, the flappy arms, right? So you would go in and they would like really put the ice on the back of the triceps area of the arm for about 10 minutes. And it could stay longer because it's just that one area of the body that's being, um, brought to this extreme cold, not the whole body. So it could be longer on that one part of the body. Um, I have a lot of friends who've done it on their butt. You know, I, I will say us white girls, like white women typically don't have asses. We have very flat asses. So I have a lot of white girl friends that go and get the cryo on their butt just to give their butt a little bit of a, a lift, you know, um, like I said, your boobs, you can do it on your boobs to give your boobs a little bit of a lift. Because again, all that's happening all that's happening is when your body is meets that intense cold over a period of time, the white fat, which again comes across visually as cellulite, that's the white fat. This is the fat that can cause all sorts of health problems. All right. It then changes the body, then the hocus post pocus magic of the body that the body can naturally do will take that white fat and turn it to brown fat, which is the healthy fat. That's the fact that, again, it's, you, you see high levels of brown fat in Eskimos and people who live in very cold environments. And that's what caused that the, the brown fat is what eats the cellulite. The brown fat is what pulls the muscles in. That's the good fat. It's what gives us extra energy is the brown fat. The white fat makes us sluggish. The brown fat gives us energy. And so, and that, again, that's also why another reason why I'm sure athletes do this a lot too. Not only does it help with the recovery process of their sport and help their body um, recover from intense exercise or intense workouts, but it's helping their body, especially as the body ages, take the fat and make it the brown fat. So there is more available and energy to the person um, on top of that. So yeah, you can find so many pictures and these are like legit, like you can see on this lady, you can see the red on her belly here. Like that was obviously where they really focused the cryo from before to get her belly to pull in more because it, the body is transferring the fat from bad to good. And I'm sure our ancestors, you know, we think about our ancestors, especially those of us who had ancestors that lived in very cold climates. I'm sure they had mega brown fat because they were outside laboring in cold environments without the, um, the luxury of Absolutely. having the heat that we have. And so their bodies, yeah. I'm sure the cellulite issue that we have now is probably more of a modern world issue because our, our lifestyle is so different. Sure, from so different. And also I, I definitely think the cellulite issue has a lot to do with what we consume. Got yeah. an interesting question here from one of the viewers. So does this help with arthritis in the spine and bulging disc? I mean, does this work with your uh, bones, yeah. internal organs, things like that as well? So I would not uh, rely on this to solely be your answer to arthritis. I mean, I've struggled with arthritis. I don't have any arthritis flare. I haven't had arthritis arthritic flare up for years. I also have a disc that's herniated in my back. 
Um, but the main thing for that with your spine, and I will say this so I'm blue in the face, is a strong core. So what if I if you're dealing with a spinal issue, I would really, really, really focus on getting your stomach strong and then doing this on top of it. So this is just kind of the icing on the cake, right? So focus first and foremost on getting your core really, really strong. Do planks, do all sorts of stuff. I mean, like I said, I have a herniated disc and I do drop back stand up every single day now and I don't feel any back pain. And it's it's mainly because my core is strong because I work to keep my core strong. But this could be the icing on the cake. This could be a little something extra to help your body flush through any inflammation, any holding on that it's doing. It will help the body flush it, if that makes sense. Nice. So would you do... Let's say um, for you would have, I'd say, let's say three times a week an ice bath. Then are you, if you take in an ice bath, you wouldn't target specific areas over and above that. No, no, I or, would not. I wouldn't because and now you can, again, you could probably take ice packs and put them on your stomach, but it might not be as. Uh, you know, unless you're going to a professional, it might, you might not be, notice a difference as much because I'm sure theirs is a lot colder. But if you literally fill up an ice bath and you put you submerge your body into the ice bath for 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, a few times a week, your body, your whole body is going to be triggered into making the brown fat. So you're going to see the results over time of the changes. It might not be after the first time. It might take a few sessions before you start to notice the changes in your body, but you are literally triggering or activating your body to do what the body is created to do in cold environments. And again, that is turning the white fat to brown fat. Um, and so if, if you're doing, in my opinion, if you're doing an ice bath a, a few times a week, you don't need to do the localized stuff because you're already triggering your body to, to create the brown fat. Does that make sense? Am I make does that, does that make sense? Yeah, like totally. Body, it makes sense. Yeah. Perfect sense. I mean, again, let's just look how amazing and intelligent our bodies are, just with something natural. And yeah. it shouldn't have to cost anyone anything. That's why I say, you know, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you, all you have to do is get into a, a cold bath. You can go and buy yourself a tub and sit in it. Yeah. It doesn't even yeah. have to be a fancy tub. You, can't. you literally kinda... need a freezer, put all in a freezer, dunk, get a plastic tub, sit in there. <laughs> yeah I, mean, I, laugh. I always laugh because i always like feel like god always gives me opportunities to take to level up basically and always before the lockdown i always giggled about ice bathing and i was like that's where i draw the line i'll just go to the cryotherapy because it's only three minutes you know and it's not wet it's just a freezer but now that i can't go to cryotherapy it's like god's like okay Okay, let's level you up. You were always teasing people how you would never take an ice bath because you would just go do cryotherapy. Now you can't do cryotherapy. What are you going to do now? So now I'm like, okay, well, shit, I guess I'm going to have to order. A, I'm going to have to be an ice bather because I can't go to cryotherapy right now because I don't have one of these, you know? So I, I see you, God. I see, I see you, God. You're telling me now I got to step it up and do the ice bathing now. And, um, and I know, I mean, so many athletes, you see, if you, back when the Olympics were big, I remember watching olympics and seeing athletes go and get an ice, ice baths immediately after their event you could see them on the side so this is something athletes have done for a really really long time now again as i say i i don't want even though the, there is a huge vanity uh uh, uh proponent to ice bathing i don't want people to do this specifically for vanity there are so yeah. many other thing, benefits to this. Um, I didn't even know about the vanity side effects until like a few months into me doing I, cold therapy. I just, it just made me feel better. Um, do it for you, for your, your depression, do it for anxiety, do it for your health, do it. So you help your body. You're giving your body a little boost in the right direction. It's not going to replace good old fashioned hard work. You're still going to have to do yeah. yoga. You're still going to have to do your own, um, your own shadow work. You're still going to have to have your come to Jesus moments crying in the corner. Like you're still going to have to do all of that. This is just an added benefit. This is just something it's to help you. It. Yes. It's a, it's it's a support support you. It, it supports you through and it gives you an, an immediate, like I said, after the first time, after your first experience, whether you do an ice bath or you go to cryotherapy and you get in the freezer after your first experience, you will feel so much different 
after in your body after you're done. You will feel a surge of energy. Like I said, immediately I realized there was a spiritual component to this. I can't put my finger on exactly how to how to explain that, but there's something very spiritual. It's like part, especially for those of us living in very comfortable Western worlds. You know, the United States isn't the only comfortable Western world. A lot of us are coming from very comfortable places in the world where our lives are. I mean, I'm sitting on a chair right now that's designed to make my back feel good while I sit at my desk. Our ancestors didn't have that. You know, our whole life is built around comfort. And so when we bring our body and our psyche, our mind into a place of extreme discomfort, even just for three minutes, there's some type of activation that happens it's very psychedelic and you've literally done nothing. You've literally, there's no, there's no drugs involved. There's no doctor involved. There's no knives involved. There's nothing. It's literally you just putting your body into a cold element and that's it. It's non-invasive. Um, now there are, if, now if you go to an actual uh, cryotherapy location, if you do have like heart issues or if there is something that might be counter to this, I would talk to a professional first to make sure this is safe for you, or you can look that up for yourself um, online and read about all the different um, maybe counter counterclaims. I mean, look at this lady. Look at that button and that butt. Like it's 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 wow. amazing. Look, and you can see like you can see where they've worked because the red it's red where the body's been worked. I mean, look at this. Look at the the um. I know that happens a lot after you have babies, and then look at after the the skin's tightened back up again. So um. Amazing. It's amazing. And it's just your body reacting the way it's supposed to react. This is the way the body is supposed to react when it gets submerged in extreme cold weather. And the funny thing is, is I will say I, I had noticed when I was in colder climates, my arthritis wasn't as bad. I did notice that before I even started going into cryotherapy that I, my arthritis would not be as bad in colder climates than it would be down here in the sun belt of the South. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I cannot speak uh, cryotherapy, like, I mean, there's so many things that have changed my life. Cryotherapy is one of them. It's literally, yeah. one of them. it has changed my absolute life. And I miss going, I miss going to cryotherapy. It is addictive. It is addictive. And it makes you realize like how amazing your body is because the way the body just instantly starts to react in a positive way by just giving it like, here's a localized thing, right? So she's obviously doing um, a slimming, a slimming tummy treatment. That's what it looks like. You just lay down, you're chit chatting with the woman and they're just doing a little work on your stomach with ice. All it is, is extremely cold. All she's putting on that woman's stomach is really cold air. That's all she's doing. There's no needles. There's nothing. It's just cold air. That's all she's doing. I mean, look at this, look at this lift. So this woman obviously is pretty fit. Her stomach's pretty strong, but it even lifted. Yeah, you can see. Mm -hmm. it, and, that's, and that is literally, if you have a human body, that is how your body is going to react to this because it's, it, no, God, God, that's how God created it. Mm. Is, we, we, need the brown fat. we don't need the white fat. The white fat is what's killing us. The brown fat is what's keeping us alive. Yeah. So, um, and so, and, you know, I laugh with um, my students a lot. It's the vanity that ge gets people into something healthy, but I would really to see there. It's just cold. It's just cold. That's all she's doing right there. It's just, that's just cold. That's all it is. Again, no needles are involved. If you're afraid of needles, congratulations. You found something that you can do that doesn't involve needles. Doesn't, you don't have to, when you go in and get it done, you're not put under, you're not given any, it's, you're just, as you are just chit chatting, having them work on your stomach or work on your face. You know, it's amazing. It's such an amazing, less fat, mm. cryo less fat, more you. I'll definitely be looking into that, see if there's anything like that around here. That's for sure. Very interesting. Maybe I we like should stuff. do, like, you know, do you remember the ice bucket challenge a few years ago that they had people doing for like Lou Gehrig's disease? Maybe we should have people submit their pictures of them in their ice baths. <laughs> yeah. show us your toes and your ice bars. Yes, and your mittens and your and this is a way you can take your health back too this is a power move this is a way that you can start to take control over your health in a way that's not invasive it's not relying on medication it's not relying on surgical things it's literally just getting yourself cold that's literally all you're doing 
That's all it is. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So interesting, Bryce. I'm definitely going to be trying that for sure. Um, Who wants to see you, Shanti? I want to see pictures of you in an ice bath. <laughs> it's winter now, so I've got to pack up a little bit of courage to do that because it's like, yikes. But <laughs> I love it because what you're saying makes such perfect sense. It really does. It's just like everything and, yeah. And I know you say you're not a fan of cupping, but I've got to say I love cupping. No, I love cupping. Uh, cupping is something I love. I love – it's it's and it's doing the same thing as cupping. It's pulling the, the blood up except yeah. for you're not left bruised. You know, cupping you you do you are you know, but it, but cupping just like cryotherapy is something on top of your yes. own work, on top of your yoga, on top exactly. of everything you're doing. Um, but no, listen, Shanti, I've seen your videos of you skydiving. If you can jump out of an airplane, you can take an ice bath. <laughs> it was so fun, sister. It was so 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 fun. That's something I want to do, but don't want to do at the same time. So when I come to Africa next, I'm going to jump out of a plane with you. That is a promise to the audience. When I come we to Africa, are taking you. we are I'm, taking you. I'm going to jump out of a plane with Shanti and Mornay. So, um, but if you can jump out of an airplane, not once but twice. You can get into that. <laughs> I totally that an ice bathing is nothing compared to jumping out of an airplane. So <laughs> as I want to tell you that that is the freakiest feeling. But I want to tell you because I have a fear of heights. Mm -hmm. Sitting on the side of that plane, I mean, never mind going up. You like you you traveling up. I think we went up to like fourteen or fifteen thousand feet. Um, so it's a good few minutes that you've got to travel up there and all the time you're just getting a little bit more nervous. And then of course I did tandem jumps. So you sit with your guy on the side of that plane and you look down and he's kind of rocking. And then the next thing you go and, and as in that moment that you jump out of that airplane, I want to tell you, Bryce, it's the most liberating, amazing feeling. It's like all your fear just goes. I went with that intention to do it, just to let go of fear. I, it was a, I did it a very um, transitional. I was ending my 13-year relationship at the time. Yeah. So it was quite a transitional period in my life as well. And it just helped me just let go, open my mind. I can't explain. My third eye just go, because, been, you yeah. know, we, w the minute you jump out of that airplane, it's like your mind has no option but to let go. Yeah. I, I feel like spirit God has been pushing me to jump out of a plane for a while now. And actually right before lockdown happened, there was, I was looking at a place here in Georgia to go and do the skydiving, but then all of a sudden lockdown happened. So, um, I don't know, but if listen, if you can do that, you could do an ice bath. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to do an ice bath, most definitely. Um, uh, I'm definitely going to. The question is, will I do it this week, next week, or maybe wait until summer a little bit? I'm not sure. I will try. I will see how brave I am, most definitely. Well, I'm going to order. I hear from you guys out there. I I'm gonna see order one saying. of those. I'm gonna order one of those those mobile ice baths, and I'm gonna put it outside, and I'll film it, guys. I will put my bathing suit on on camera. That's asking a lot too to wear a bathing suit on camera, <laughs> and <laughs> I will get into an ice bath and film it once I get the bath in, so you guys can see it as well. Because I know that's what God's doing. I can't go to the cryotherapy because I don't, you know. So God's like, well, what you gonna do, sister? You know, you've got another option over here that you've always you made fun of, and. Coming. You got to be doing summon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it. love it. You can do it. I'm so. saying, hey, I'm actually going to look. I'm actually going to look to see if they've got any of the portable ones available here. Because yeah. if they do, I might just look into that, you know, because then I might just be trying to do it. Because if I spend money on something, I must we'll use it. it. That's my, that's my yeah. motto. And that's my thing too, is like, I don't want to have If I spend money on it, I'll definitely use it. Yeah. And I don't know how long it takes ice to melt in a regular tub. That's why I, I thought I would just get a separate one because then it can stay and melt as long as it needs um, to go down the drain. So, um, so yeah. Uh, but you guys, I would love to see our audience pictures if or they hear their experiences if this is something that they also have participated in. But you can start slowly. That's you can go on the internet and just get some little ice packs. 
mask. I have two of those. I can't wait. Tonight I'm going to go put them in my freezer and I'll be walking around like Zorro the Zebra. (laughs) (laughs) This this, this This is the joy of your closet. All of these things. I walk around with oil in my hair, a charcoal pack on my face. Um, Like, yeah, masks on my face, like doing my cupping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, scraping. That's another thing. So I have the, the cap yeah. scrape. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you've been beaten up when you're done. You're like, I promise I haven't been beaten up. I did this to myself. I did it to myself. So, so absolutely guys. Well, yeah, I honestly, for everybody listening, I know it might sound crazy, but listen, you've survived one of the biggest psyops the world has ever placed on you. If you can do, you can survive that. You can survive ice therapy. You can survive cold therapy for sure. For sure. I think it's definitely worth getting addicted to because we hear about this from the Scandinavian countries all the time that these people, when you see them jumping into that ice water, they'll tell you it's addictive. As I said to my friend in Cape Town, he swims twice, twice a week in the morning in these Cape Town oceans. There's a whole group of them. Um, and no wetsuits, and it's it's very cold. You, you know, he says you've got to deal a bit with a brain freeze and stuff like that, but, you know, amazing. I think it's something awesome to do. You know, this for me is preventative therapy. You know, we've all of these ancient lost ways have been stolen by modern medicine. I'm sorry, you know, and I, and I don't want to like uh, ridicule or, or w- just any doctors, not at all. Doctors are beautiful. Really, we, they are so needed in so many ways, but I do believe we as the public give our power away to doctors way too much, way too many times. Um, stuff like this is preventative uh, therapy, yoga, Ayurveda, the way you eat, the way you exercise, everything is about preventing bad health. So yeah. not fixing it up. Modern medicine is all about fixing what's wrong. You oh. know, what we're doing is we, we're preventing things from. You're, you're allowing your body to do what your body knows how to do. Your body knows how to do this. Cellulite yeah. isn't just a vanity thing. There's also health issues there too. And the body knows how to correct that. It just needs yeah. the environment to trigger it, to activate it, to, to create yeah. that brown fat. So absolutely. I agree with you 100%. It is 100, it's very much along the lines of like preventative, allo- allowing your body just to live and to do what it's supposed to do. Exactly. Body is designed to heal itself. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yay, guys and girls, this has been so fun to have you all on this uh, wonderful Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday with our beautiful Bryce. And I look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Okay, yes. Where is Rising Africa? And then next week, Wednesday, we are starting to talk about Tartaria. So excited. I'm sure the Tartarians used cold therapy too, guys. I'm sure our Tartarian ancestors all the Tartarians were super freaking smart, I want to tell yeah. you. Um, amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going through um the 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 duckies and stuff that these guys have put together. We're gonna be talking about that and um sharing more lost truths and um hidden truths that, that the controllers have been uh, uh, keeping away from us and keeping all to their greedy little selves. Yes. <laughs> time's up. Tick tock, tick tock, time's up. <laughs> we were made to so. <laughs> our gifts go. Give them back right now. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. Tart- Tartaria is a game changer. It's an absolute game changer. So I can't wait to, to go to go deeper into that with you, Shanti, and our audience as well. So, so stay tuned. Next week, Wednesday, we're going to be, and it'll take a couple of weeks, definitely. We're going to be going through it. Very, very interesting. Join us for that. And join us again with our beautiful Bryce on Monday, on uh, Magic Monday. And Bryce's all her wonderful, amazing mystery stories that we love to hear about. <laughs> so take good care, guys and girls. God bless you all. If you haven't Bye. already, please give us a like, a share on this channel, which is Solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa and Aquarius Rising Africa. 
Look forward to seeing you all very soon. Take good care. Go take Go your bath. Go get cold. <laughs>